When you want to use a rational approach to select the best option from several alternatives, use a decision tree. A decision tree is a support tool that models decisions using a tree-like diagram. Each branch of the tree represents an option and its benefits, costs, and likelihood. Organizations use decision trees to identify the strategy or choice that will lead them to the desired goal. Because a decision tree is graphic, it helps you explore possibilities and track their outcomes. It also creates a simple summary of a complex decision that you can share with other stakeholders. You can create a decision tree by hand or by using basic graphic programs. Let's take a look. Here are the essential elements of creating decision trees. Let's explore in more detail. Begin by determining the primary decision to make or the problem to solve. This becomes your goal. Draw a small box on the left side of a piece of paper or on your computer screen. Label this objective box with a description of the problem. Next, identify the options in the decision or problem. Draw a line for each option from the objective box on the right. Keep the lines far apart and leave yourself room to include labels and add your thoughts. Label each line with a short description of the option. Next, at the end of each line, insert the result. If the result of choosing that option is uncertain, draw a small circle. If the result requires you to make a decision, draw a small square. Repeat this process from each decision square until you've drawn lines representing all of the possible outcomes you've identified. Assigning values and probabilities is an optional element of your decision tree. In this area, we estimate how much option is worth to your organization. This can be a monetary or non-monetary amount. Label the outcome with the value. Next, for each circle, called the uncertainty node, estimate the probability or likelihood of each outcome. The total of each circle must equal 100%. Repeat this for all of your decision nodes. That helps us then calculate the value associated with each possible outcome. Start at the right side of your decision tree and work to the left as you calculate. Using each of these essential elements, you'll create a decision tree that looks something like this. Remember, a more quantitative decision tree, one that doesn't use as much numerical evaluation, can be constructed and used for the same purposes. Now go and create great decision trees.